Are you a Mormon couple who decided to get married for time and all eternity after six weeks of courtship and now need to plan the perfect Mormon wedding? Well, look no further because I am going to give you the step-by-step -step guide in how to do it. The first thing you need to do is make preparations for the sealing. The first step is choosing which temple you're going to get married in. There are currently 159 temples in the world, but for a Mormon wedding there are only two that matter. The Salt Lake City Temple and the San Diego Temple. Sure you can get sealed in any of the other 157 temples, but your wedding photos just won't receive the maximum like or comment potential on social media if you do so. Next you need to make the impossible decision of choosing a select number of loved ones who are going to attend your actual sealing, which is probably the most important decision of your life. If you are having issues deciding between your childhood friend or your mission companion due to capacity, remember to put priority on the person who is either traveling the furthest or who will most likely buy you the better wedding gift. Now that the sealing prep work is done, it is time to plan for the reception. The first thing you need to do is choose which church gymnasium you're going to decorate for your reception. Because nothing is more dope than being able to play some basketball after your wedding. Remember to let everyone know that you will be doing a receiving line to welcome everyone at the reception. This is great because people love spending their Saturday evenings in the line. Make sure to warn your guests to eat dinner before attending because you will only be serving Costco cookies and limeade. Let guests know there will be no entertainment during the reception like dancing. And instead, you will be playing an Ed Sheeran album on loop. After about two hours of Ed Sheeran, cut the cake with your spouse and get ready for your big exit which means sparklers, because that's a thing now. Get in your car and drive to your hotel and start working on building your Mormon army of children. But in all seriousness, it doesn't matter which temple you get sealed in or if your reception is in a church gym. What matters is you do what you want to do that day, because ultimately a wedding is the celebration of a union of two people that love each other. Plus your guests aren't the ones ending up with the bill at the end of the day. I hope that you liked the video and remember to subscribe to keep watching more videos. Talk to you later.